you know, people want to know, well, intellectually, what was going on and what were you thinking and like that. But um, Prabhupada said, you all became devotees because of prasadam. But I never thought I became a devotee from prasadam. I always, I always thought I became a devotee because I think I was um, tortured by the fact that I was a living entity who had a body who didn't know what the hell to do with it. And I just felt like, well, what's the... I didn't feel suicidal, but I just felt like, well, everything's kind of useless if you don't know why you're supposed to do it. And I used to like to write songs, so I'd, I'd write these songs. And after I'd write a song, I'd go, what is this? This is stupid. You know, what's the point of it? I don't, I don't even know anything. And I was thinking I'd, I could become a professor. I'd just stay in school. School, it seemed like campus was kind of like its own reality. So if you just stayed on campus, you'd never kind of deal with the real world. So that was like an alternative for me. So I thought, I'll just stay in school. My parents will pay for it. If I stay long enough, I guess by default, I'd end up teaching. So I had this philosophy professor. He kind of blew my bubble. First day in class, he said, I don't know anything, so I can't teach you anything. Of course, this is Berkeley, 1969, 1969, so he says, I don't know anything, I can't teach you anything, so all you, have, you don't have to come to my classes, because there's no real reason to come, because what can I teach you? He said, all you have to do is write a term paper, pick a subject, write a term paper, and give yourself a grade and turn it in. So uh, so that just added to the realization I already had. It's like, oh, you know, I don't know anything. I don't know why I'm here. Well, maybe I'll become a professor so now I can teach everybody what I don't know. So I was in that environment. And then I, you know, started reading Bhagavad Gita. And I was like, yeah, this guy is right. He doesn't know. But now, now I knew what he doesn't know. And I knew what all the other teachers didn't know. So intuitively, I was, I was feeling nobody knew anything. But now I knew what they didn't know. So it became difficult to remain in college. And then as I read Bhagavad Gita, I, I would think, yes, yes, next page. Yes, 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 yes. And so I, I kind of, when I was writing, when I was writing what happened and looking at all these events, I thought, okay, well, I, I needed to live with that girl. I needed this experience with drugs. I, I needed to have a professor t to tell me he doesn't know anything. I needed to be a frustrated musician. I, you know, I, I needed to have an attraction for India. The Bhagavad, you know, I needed all these things. So when someone say, how did you become a devotee? I say, I really didn't do anything. Christian just rolled out the red carpet and I followed the dotted lines to the end. And then that was it. That, that's how I feel. And I, I'll tell another story. It's really interesting. This, this one devotee told me, he had a teacher, I think it was a writing teacher. and He asked the teacher a question, something like, how is it that you can write prolifically like you do every day? And you write so much, just, you know, create the space. You know, some people find it difficult to create the space to just be able to be peaceful enough to write. And the teacher thought about it for a moment. And his answer was, I cannot not do it. It was his spontaneous answer as he thought about it. He, he couldn't say why. He just all he could say is, "I can't not do it." So I think, I think for many of us to become devotees, that's the answer. How did you become a devotee? Um, I can't not. I can't imagine how I could not be a devotee. When I was coming to the temple, the thing that I realized was all the people living in the temple were the kind of people I wanted to live with. So, so even beyond the philosophy, it was just. I don't know anybody that lives like this, and this is the way I want to live. So it kind of became like inevitable in my mind that I knew that at some point I would just have to break ties with everything else and move in the temple because these are the kind of people I wanted to be with. The philosophy was there, but the people, I think if they didn't follow it, then I probably would have thought, well, what's the point? No one follows it. You know. Yeah, and they, I thought, well, where are these other communities? The communes or whatever spiritual community. And I thought, here. This is the, these are the people that really are, are doing it. So that, that had a very powerful influence. And then the last, the real reason, not the real reason, but um, interesting reason I joined. This is kind of funny. You know how in the Hare Krishna movement, particularly in the old days, we were very male. We were kind of 
the males the males were the dominants they still try to be sometimes you know the dominant the alpha male you know we control and the women follow so I always when I do seminars I always tell the women I say don't believe that I said you're totally in control the men are always thinking about you all the time these two women were coming to the temple when I was coming the right at the same time they were coming to the temple when I was coming to the temple so at a certain point I thought I should be a devotee but you know there was it's kind of like you're at the shore of the ocean the water is a bit cold you just don't want to dive in you know so you kind of go slowly and then ooh, it's a little cold and back up so they both joined the temple around the time you know I was thinking I should join the temple so when they joined the temple though and it was like wow if they joined, you know, me, the big, you know, the big, I'm the guy, you know, it's like, how could I, how can I take that? <laughs> so ladies, you have control. You are in charge. You, you made me a devotee in a sense. At least push me sooner, push me over the fence. I guess my um, male ego got slapped around a bit when they joined. Well, they joined then.